This is, as the court has to take a final call, I wouldn't like to uh, comment on this matter. But uh, what, according to the law of the land, a juvenile uh, cannot be really uh, punished as per, per the adult. So, you know, this is the only cause for him and this is also the responsibility of the government uh, for his rehabilitation. And I do hope that that is taken very seriously. And, you know, we have to also understand that uh, uh, India has got a lot of youth, a lot of young energy. And uh, so if that is not channelized in the positive, constructive manner, you know, that can turn destructive. So I would like to say that this is our responsibility, you know, not only just the governments, you know, but this is also our holistic responsibility as a society, you know, to channelize the direction of the youth in a more positive, uh, constructive fashion. I believe there was an anti-encroachment drive and I believe notices were given out. One has just read the, uh, the railway's uh, uh, clarification on the issue, according to which the, the, the death of the child that happened, the time of death was approximately 10 a.m., whereas uh, the encroachment drive actually started at 12. Now, first of all, we can't take railway's version for it. We must inquire more and know more about it. If indeed a child has been hurt or killed, uh, officers have to answer for this. There is no getting away. But, in, but just, just before I say that, I would like to make it very, very clear that if a child dies, and indeed it's, it's, so, it's so sad, b without inquiring, without asking for a full report, just dismissing to officers to create an atmosphere uh, whereby Arvind Kejival gets to look like a martyr and to create this, uh, this absolute uh, uh, atmosphere where you want to look, Modi government to look bad, it's absolutely childish and um, uh, uh, unfair. Please find out if the child indeed has died and if indeed railways is responsible, then do take all the action if possible. But linking everything with Modi government shows a sick obsession of a kind. It doesn't behove a chief minister. It doesn't be behove a decent citizen who knows the basics of the constitution. Yes, there is jurisdiction involved and so people report to uh, different ministries. But to use every death, every rape, every injury for your own political gains shows a very sick mind.